So as I told you, the <coughs> uh, we're going to deal with uh, some of the ethical issues, OK? Uh, even though the UN are concerned with the leadership process, OK? So in, in your daily life, at contemporary societies, we are facing the, we are facing a lot of ethical issues, a lot ethical questions, OK? How to behave right over wrong in a right way, OK? Yeah. Uh, so probably I think that there must be some the dual standard when you judge. Oh, that's that's the way the, the you know right way or the wrong way. Okay, it depends on the, some kind of geographical area or the places or the countries, or maybe sometimes you accept some kind of sort of the, the ethical issues just as a social norm or international norm, okay? Or the characters, or the cultures. So, or specific issues, uh, for examples, for examples, maybe in a particular situations, the, think about the, some kind of matter of the prostitution, prostitute, okay? Uh, during the war time, during the war time, uh, for example, is the, is, uh, during the Second World, Second World, there was uh, some the international struggles or the wars uh, between the between the, the some countries, European countries and the Eastern countries. Okay, uh, so during the war, there must be devastations. In, the, or in, in terms of the, uh, the standard of living, okay, there is highly limitations uh, you can spend on in your life. Something like a fiscal resources, or the financial crisis, or any kind of social, uh, social crisis. Okay? So you, 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 you feel the lack of the, some of the resources. How can you survive? You know, some kind of a, social, a crisis, the time of crisis, especially for the women. Okay, she has to support her family with uh, some five children, with the help of the husband. Her husband went to work. Okay, but finally, it turned out. Her, her husband didn't come to, come to, come to home because he passed away the, during the war. Okay, in those circumstances, how could, how could she survive to support for, his, uh, for her family? Have you think so? What, what was the best strategy for survival? Yeah, Susan. They had to become the leader of the family themselves. They had to, mm -hmm. like the, the woman had to do all the work that normally the man helped her with. She, they had to do it themselves. And they became the workforce, kind of. And they, okay. they went on the fields and they did the architecture and everything mm. themselves. All right, yeah. So suppose that the US has some uh, <coughs> uh, there are a lot of the movies movies who, uh, which represent uh, such a situation. Okay. What's the best strategy, survival strategy? Okay. Yeah. So only best way for women is to, to sell her body okay. as a sales product. Okay. Only one the product, only one item she has has her body itself. So in those cases, how can you explain the such a situation? Is it the right way? Is it right or wrong? Okay. In reflect this as a social norm. Okay. In a normal in a normal situations, oh, we we cannot oh, we cannot judge. We cannot accept it as a normal thing. Normal way. But in a particular situation, especially for the, during the world, 
how could she survive herself with her families? Five or six children, right? In those cases, in a particular situation, we, we have to accept those behavior, okay, as a normal way. So there must be exceptional cases when we judge is wrong, is right, okay, in view of the, some ethical issues. Yeah. So even though there must be exceptional cases, when we judge, your leader has done in a right way. But there must be some universal things. Oh. Those kind of actives, actions would be accepted as a ethical way, okay? as ethical leaders. So there, there should be two ways to judge, to judge your be leadership behavior as, as a ethical leadership or unethical leadership. In a specific times, in a particular situations, you may accept it as a, uh, unnecessary evils. Okay, unnecessary evils. But nevertheless, overall, overall, maybe the you know, general speaking, you have to judge the such as such a. Activities, leadership activity, behaviors. As all, oh, that is a, there's a there's a common things. There's a customary behavior, but nevertheless, it is against the ethical issue. It is unethical. Okay, yeah. With a general judgment. So today, the, we are, are talking about the general judgment. General pattern of the judgment. What is right? What is wrong? Okay. What is desirable? What is undesirable? What is against the judge, uh, justice? What is against the inequalities? Okay. Yeah. You're against the inequalities. In view, when you talk about uh, some kind of a, a theory of a justice, or the equalities. How do you define, how do you define the uh, justice, social justice? How to behave yourself as a leader? Okay. There must be a lot of the theories. If you want to talk about the, some of the ethical issues in view of the, the leadership process, okay, in your communities, in this classroom, it doesn't matter. Why? Yeah. Universal point of view to talk about, to, to refer to the, some the, the leadership ethics. Okay? Yeah. So think about that. Okay, I'm going to invite uh, two uh, <coughs> students to have a presentation uh, to talk about the, some leadership ethics, not ethical issue, not ethical leadership. Okay? Yeah. All right, uh, I'd like to raise uh, two assumptions. The, the first, uh, to, in referring to the, some of the leadership ethics, okay. Uh, first assumption is, <clears throat> uh, what's the relationship between uh, ethics and the leadership? Okay, how do you relate to different terms, different definite terms, okay? Uh, how would you relate the ethics or what? Do you accept some kind of assumption, the uh, two different terms, the ethics and the leadership? Okay. Uh, are there the relationship between two terms? Okay, that's the first assumption. And the second thing is uh, referring to some of the nature of the human beings. You yourself is existence. To think about some eth uh, ethical 
human being, ethical existence. Okay. Is a human being the ethical uh, existence being? You are all, uh, you, uh, are you always ethical or unethical by nature? But the ethics, maybe the deliberate ethics, just for yourself, can be trained or by nature. Okay? That's called nature versus nurture theory, controversies. Okay, so ethics, maybe the, the moralities, the liberal moralities can be acquired, okay? Acquired by nature or by nurturing process. I mean a training process, the educational process. There's a second assumption. Think about that, okay? Yeah. Okay, who can talk about the first assumption I raised? How would you relate to different terms? Ethics and the leadership. There's a concern about the centrality of ethics to leadership. Okay. So the ethics can be central or the crucial to leadership by nature. Think about it. Maurice. I think it depends on the situation and the person. Uh, mm -hmm. Like you said in the beginning, uh, in the end it's about survival. And if surviving means doing something ethical oh, for yeah. yourself, then you would... Yeah, there's a case I talked about. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so yeah. I think it really depends on the situation. And ethics can be learned because mm -hmm. every culture is, of course, different. So sure, you can learn different ethics from All right. new cultures. I think most of the things are in nature born with certain ethics and uh, understanding of certain aspects. All right. Okay. Let me invite. Uh, let me invite uh, another people. Or a student. Julia. Mm, in my opinion, um, you learn the ethics like from your environment, like mm -hmm. where you're raised, like from your parents. Mm. So. Um, I think ethics is something that are kind of innate, but also can change over time, like what the situation is. Okay. But I think there are some innate ethic or innate morality that you can um, that you have since you're born. Okay, you are sending for the some the uh, nurture side. Okay, you can acquire it, right? As uh, a process, of the of the uh, acquisition. Thanks to some kind of problem, the education problem, education training. All right, yeah. So you may raise up the level of moralities, okay, by training about the education over time. Do you agree with, with that? Don't you think so? Don't you think that the ethics is by nature? Is it uh, okay? Uh, can it be the uh, acquired by nature? I think that, like in everyday life, mm. ethic is by nature. Mm -hmm. While if we think about ethic and leadership, for example, in companies, mm -hmm. you can learn new ethics. It depends on the situation and where you are acting. All right. Okay. So ethic would, would be both. From both. Okay. Both sides. All right. Yeah. Uh, to some constant, to some extent, you are born with uh, some kind of quality of uh, ethical, ethical qualities. Okay, uh, you wanna behave as ethical leader, as uh, uh, act a ethical person. Okay, without any kind of the interruption, such as uh, the training or the education. Okay, you are born to some extent. But in over, in general cases, you are trained. I'm referring to some kind of difference between the animal, the normal animal and the human being. 
Okay. You know, general, uh, you know, general speaking, most of the uh, animals, they don't think about the ethical issues. They just behave, okay, <coughs> according to uh, intuition, without thinking about the thing about oh, why is it wrong or the why is it wrong, okay? Yeah, there's a deep, a big difference between the human being and the animals. So in some senses, probably that uh, understanding the, the just for the, the nur nur nurtures, nurtures, okay, you can get you can get raised the standard or the some the level of the moralities by training. But anyway, okay. So if we accept the assumption, okay, human being is an ethical existence that would be some the wonderful 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 reasons to accept some the center of ethics to leadership okay so when you behave as a leaders wonderful good leaders you have to be sensitive every time what is what would be the wrong or the what would be desirable, what would be the ethical order or not. Okay? Yeah. Because you are already ethical leaders. So you are concerned with every time the ethical issues. Okay? Yeah. So that's the reason why the work okay, so leadership is could be a central to the leadership process, the, I, I, I mean the, the ethics is a, could be central. The crucial, crucial, very crucial to behave as a leader, wonderful leader. Okay. And this chapter some the <clears throat> list the three kinds of ethical theories, starting with uh, some kind of a, what, what is that? Ethical egoism by referring to some how, why the, uh, your leaders behave in an ethical way. They must have some purposes or the duties or any kind of a, some kind of virtuousness. Okay? According to some of the three, three criteria why they behave in an ethical way. Okay, first, uh, <clears throat> according to some kind of consequences or the behaviors of the result, the conduct and the characters, okay. conduct behavior over the characters, the qualities, okay. uh, innate, innate qualities, over the uh, nurturous characters. Okay, if you want to refer to some kind of consequences, behavior, uh, consequences after you behave, after you act as a leader, what's the result or the consequences? There are three, there are two, or that there are three, three categories when you refer to some kind of the consequences which you have done as a leader. The first one is ethical egoism. Ethical egoism. Just for yourself. You have done, you have passed through the leadership process just for yourself, for your interest. Okay? Ethical egoism. Such as the, some, the something happens, what's happening in your business companies. Okay? So the, the purpose of the, the ultimate goal is clear. Very clear, okay. To pursue the just for the happiness for themselves, okay. To make an interest, interest for themselves. They are not concerned with us. They are not concerned with the, some the uh, environment interest, or the, they are not concerned with the, some the uh, others. 
outside their communities, just like a good Samaritan. Okay? They are not concerned with that, just for themselves, ethical egoism. They have done the ethical, ethical uh, activities. Okay, yeah, by following the some, yeah, even though that they must have some the social accountabilities, social responsibilities. But even this, they are, not, they are only concerned with the, their for their own interests. Okay, by making use of the social abilities or the, to prepare the lot of, provide the lot of social welfare, or. Uh, probably the, uh, uh, they are trying to allocate their money just for the some have nots. Okay. To advertise their company, business companies. Okay. Yeah. And the second one is utilitarianism. What, what is, uh, okay. Why is a foreigner so to talk about the utilitarianism? Hmm? Have you okay? Have you heard about the, some of the, the works of the Jeremy Bentham, the very famous philosophers around the 19th centuries in Germany? Jeremy Bentham or the John Stuart Mill? No? <laughs> mm. Around the 19th centuries, okay. Uh, <clears throat> Jeremy Bentham, or the John Sutton Muir, James, James Muir, okay. They are very famous scholars who talked about, the, who talked about some of the utilitarianism. Why is the propaganda for the utilitarianism? Julia, do you know that? All right. Have you taken the, some of the courses of the history of the philosophy? No, not yet? OK. Yeah. In terms of the utilitarianism, utilities, they are standing for the ut utilities. Utility happiness. OK, utilities, utility. The highest utilities provides the highest level of happiness. Okay, in their theories, utilities. Okay, so propagandas. Very famous <coughs> saying that the most happiness for the most happiness, most people. Okay, they are pursued. But why we pursue the happiness in our human communities? They say, I mean that they, Jeremy Muir, James Muir, John Sutton Muir, Okay, Jeremy Bentham. <laughs> All right. The best way to pursue for the happiness in our com human communities, we have to send for some of the propagandas. The most happiness for the most people. Okay, yeah. Yeah, for example, all the, our school, the, the, the Sungshi University providers, okay, uh, 10 to 100 million dollars for the scholars in this classroom. Okay, how do you distribute? How do you allocate the, the, those kind of fund? Just for the scholarship, just for yourself. The first way is how to, to find some way to provide, to guarantee the most happiness for the most people in this class, okay? To distribute equally. That's the way that uh, just for the, uh, the sending for the utilitarianism, okay? All the classmates will have uh, equal money, okay? After, you, after I distribute that uh, on an equal basis, okay? Yeah, but it is not concerned with some equality issues. Maybe I can give you some Susans, most of the, the fund, okay, 90% uh, of the fund. 
because you are smart. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm taking some example. Okay. Now, Julia, 5% of the rest of you. Because you look very rich. <laughs> okay. Moritz, nothing. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I think that you are full of the rich, no. richness. Okay, yeah. But anyway, utilitarian, it doesn't matter, we, it doesn't concern with some equalities, equal basis, okay? Yeah. So they are concerned with the total of the happiness without any consideration of the equalities. Okay? Justice. How to realize the justice for the utilitarianism is to, to think about, to concern with the only thing, the most happiness. All right. Yeah, utilitarianism. Uh, let me take examples. Well, what is a major function or the major roles of the, some federal government in your countries? Okay. The first job is to collect the tax. Then, second job. Why is the second job? To allocate, allocate their fund or the taxes, okay, just for the wealth of the people. Hmm? Depending on the utilitarianism, they just most of the resident, resident, okay, yeah. Do you agree with the utilitarianism? In reflecting the contemporary uh, standard of <clears throat> social justice? Yeah, that was prevalent around the 19th centuries. Okay. Not for the contemporary societies. Okay, yeah. So, third one altruism. Altruism? Oh, I'm not quite sure the, the, the spelling. Altruism or altruism? Philanthropic point of view. Okay. What's the basic reason why I behave in an ethical way as a successful leader? Okay. Like a good Samaritan. I'm concerned, only concerned with uh, some of the, my neighbors, neighbors interest, okay. That's it, and uh, altruism, okay, yeah, altruism. I'm not concerned with the, my own interest, hmm? or the, the most of people's, oh. I will distribute, or the, I can, I will show them my affection to my have-nots. Not haves, have-nots. Because they are in need, desperately. Okay. Uh, the fiscal resources, or the money, or there are so many social wealth. Okay, yeah. Okay, the consequences, duty. The ontological theories. Okay, consequences. All right. Uh, yeah, I just found out that some of the mistake on the spelling on your, in our textbook. Teleological. You have to O between the E and the L in your textbook. The misprinting. Okay, teleo. There's a purpose or the goal, okay, teleological, 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 teleological uh, perspectives. That means every successful are concerned, uh, concerned with uh, some kind of purpose, just for the be religious behavior. Okay, teleological consequences. Why, why is the result? 
result? What's the result in the uh, leadership behavior? Or the deontological the theories? Deontological in Greek, deos, duty. Okay, yeah. 